So this is a demo where I am using an off-the-shelf remote controlled switch combined with the sprinkler valve controller to allow me to turn on or off power line devices. And this is again running in DC power uh, and I'm using transistors instead of triacs to interface with the remote control. The remote control has three buttons and I have modified the remote control, soldered some wires out so that I can simulate the button presses uh, by turning on or off the sprinkler valve stations. Um, and I have also installed three remote uh, switch sockets. So here is one. Uh, these sockets correspond to uh, stations 1, 2, and 3. So when I turn on or off each station, the remote control will send out wireless signals to turn on or off the corresponding socket. So here um, is uh, a simple web page uh, running on the uh, sprinkler valve controller. For demonstration, I have simplified the web page uh, so it only has eight buttons uh, instead of a long schedule page. So now let me try to turn on the first station. So, and you can see which device is controlling. So it's actually turning on my uh, Peggy 2 LED uh, array. And uh, now let me turn it off. Okay. So let's see which, uh, which is the second device. So um, when I click on turn on, so you can see that my heater turns on. Well, it's actually not that cold, so let me turn it off. So if I press, I'm trying to get the two into the same picture. So if I turn it off, so you can see it's off. Now let me just turn it on again. So you can see that it's on and off. Okay, so let's see the third device is, let's see which is it. So it's actually the uh, floor lamp in my living room here. So again, you know, I'm trying to get them on the same page. So if I turn on, or turn on, turn off, so you can see that it works.